Oh, good morning. Just gonna wander around here for a minute. So somebody, anybody jumps on, so it's perfect. You can see the sun this morning, sun's out. Properly out this morning in Bali, which is fantastic. At the beach, it's a rubbish on the beach. Oh, got the man himself, Lee Bundy, down there in the background. Been doing our success priming this morning. I like I say, I'll, I'll go for a wander till someone comes on. Yes, we have someone on. Hello, hello, hello. A couple of people on, which is awesome, awesome. I get to rub it in here while I'm in Bali. Oh, George, how are you, bro? Should be here, mate. Me and Lee have just been down here this morning with our success priming. Taking it all in. The rain has finally stopped, which is fantastic. How are you guys? Thank you for jumping on. Uh, we don't do good, George. We do great. You know that. <laughs> anyway, the purpose of this live feed this morning, I'm glad that a few of you guys have jumped on. The purpose. Oh, yes, I'm rubbing it in and I'm down the beach and taking in the sun and setting up my day and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but a lot of stuff going on lately, talking to a lot of people. Oh, Duffman, Duffman's on. How are you, bro? Well, like I say, talking to a lot of people, and, and it's been the case myself. You work up to do a lot of things, and you, you have plans, you have, I'm going to say goals. I don't like using that word goals at the moment. And you've got these, these great things you've got planned, and you work, work towards and work towards, and you think it's going to be great, it's going to be great. And you, you get somewhere, and you're like, oh... This doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel comfortable. And yes, Debbie, it is beautiful here. It is fantastic today. If I'd have showed you the last four days, you would have said it looks terrible here because of the rain. But anyway, morning, Grant. Uh, thank you guys for jumping on. A bit different for me doing a live feed in the morning, but I thought, why not? Beautiful morning. But what I was getting back to, like I say, you've got these things going on. You've got these, this stuff going on in your life. And it could be, could be working towards building, buying a house or uh, making an investment or like working on yourself or like I say, might have a position open at work that you, you know you should go for and you, you do everything you can, you work your ass off to get to that point but what happens at the last minute? You start questioning yourself, you start questioning everything around you, you start questioning little things that pop up that you think, oh no, 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 that's a sign, that's a sign and you, what do you do? Well, I'm going to ask you, is what do you do when you get this feeling, when you get this feeling of something new that's about to go, yeah, 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 but you what is that feeling for you guys? You know what I'm talking about. There's a couple of years on here now that I know you've been in this situation many, many times. Like your business might be exploding, but then you realise you've got to do more work or you've got to maybe reach out to other people or, or get uncomfortable. Maybe that's what it is. So like I say, a bit of interaction here this morning would be cool. What do you reckon, Grant? I know you're there and listening, man. What are your thoughts? What happens when what happens when you get to that point? You're expanding, you're expanding your business or you got new opportunities coming your way. I'm gonna walk along here. There's a cool little bridge along here. I'm gonna show you is this. This is pretty cool. This is down near La Laguna. Just down near where we've where we're staying. Got to walk along this wooden bridge. All this stuff's like really, really old. There's like a restaurant in there. You can have a look at it. Have a look at the bridge. All this stuff, cops are hiding down here, but it stays standing, which is pretty cool. Reach out, Grant. Reach out, you reckon? Yeah, that's not too bad. That's cool. That's cool. But that feeling of getting uncomfortable, I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you what 95% of people do. Oh, I'm going to say 90% of people do. They stop. And what they do, they'll, they'll find these little things that come up. It might be stuff from their past. They might have been in a similar situation before. And then they'll, they'll focus on that. They'll focus on these things. That's great, Grant. Perfect, mate. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You do. You ask that person. But I see it a lot. I, I have it myself. Even though, like I say, lately, lately, I've had to change a lot of things up. And I'm like, I felt uncomfortable, I didn't feel comfortable doing it, so what I was doing, I, I would find an excuse, and that's what it was, an excuse, it might have been a good little reason, but I would find that 
and I would like blow that out of the water. I would make it like much bigger and like what you focus on expands, it grows. So these little things end up stopping me from doing something that was going to move me forward. Uh, ads max on. Ads, give us a thumbs up, man. You have been smashing it since you come back from Bali. It's been fantastic, man. It's been awesome to watch. It's um, actually blows my mind a little. You guys are on the live feed. If you want to watch someone take on the world, Ads McEwen's the man. Ads McEwen. So I'll throw that plug in for you, bro. But yeah, like I say, it's... it's di oh, I'm back, I'm back. Keep me accountable there, guys. Morning. Did you just miss much there? I actually swore then when the internet sign came up. I swore with a smile on my face, but so that's cool, apparently. But yeah, uh, like, Philip, good. This is awesome. Some of you guys that are on here, this is awesome because you know what? This is this is not pointed at you, but it's a big thing with what you guys are going through now with, with a personal growth journey or something like that. You get to a point and you're doing things a bit different. Morning, Rob. Say, man. Yeah, Rob. Oh, this is awesome that you're on here. And like I say, I don't do these videos to point them at anyone. I do it from what I see, from people I talk to, and the feedback I get, and even my experience, what I do. And like I was saying before, I would find excuses to stop me. Now, what I've found, when you push through them, you're someone who pushes me all the time. I've got Lee, who's my coach. At this point, what he does, he makes me feel more uncomfortable, more uncomfortable, pushes me more and more. And by pushing through that, and actually, you just you just trust in that. I trust in him. I don't I don't like the uncomfortableness. I don't I, I don't when I say I don't like it, it's different. You got to realize the difference. Uncomfortable is there for a reason. That resistance you find at the last minute when you're like all nervous or you're anxious, and people throw that thing anxiety around. That's a good feeling. That's good nerves. That's got to get excited about that time. You've got to get excited and then you've got to like, all right, there it is. There it is right there. And you know what? It may not work out, guys. It may not work out. But what I've found, what I've been living, and this is where I can talk from my own experiences, you, you grab that opportunity, you go with it. And on the other side, it's just boom, seriously. It is just freaking amazing. So you just got to, you got to get to that point. And like I say, I'm walking into the villa here. I thought that was going to take a lot longer to walk this morning. I was say, for you guys on the live feed this morning, I'm glad a few of you guys have got on because just take that opportunity, no matter what comes up, no better be financial and everything, because use them nerves to push forward. I don't know if you've seen you know, or you hear sports stars or people who go and talk on stage and all that sort of stuff. They talk about how nervous they are, and us, us people who watch them are like, no, they're not, they're not nervous. But they are, they're very nervous. But what they do, they channel that energy, they use that energy. Because they don't know what's going to happen. It's something big they've been working towards. They don't know, but they don't pull out, do they? they? They lift up and we call them champions. Because they use that, they harness that energy. They use their nerves to push on, to go harder. And it's easy, it's like what I was talking about yesterday, flow. When you get them challenges or when you get that resistance there, you use that. You go with it. You don't go against it because when you go against it, you bang, bang, bang. You're not going to get anywhere and that's when the excuses come in. That's where the bad energy comes in. That's where you waste your time going around in circles and you don't get anywhere. So feedback. I want some questions here because I'm loving the people that are on here this morning. This has this worked out really well. Everything happens for a reason and a few of you guys have jumped on. That's awesome. Throw me some questions. I'll keep, I'll keep talking for a minute. I actually got to, um, got to go to the gym this morning. Uh, Lee's down the beach, as you would have seen just at the start. Like I say, we get in there for success priming in the morning when it's not raining. Um, we, we've got a meeting today, later today, a business meeting, which is pretty pretty awesome. It's next level. Uh, also, like I say, the gym this morning. We've got a, another guy coming in through Beast Mode this morning, which is fantastic. You guys are going to love him. He's going to give us a, a totally different totally different mix of um, personality. He's ready to take his life to the next level. But... Throw me some questions, guys, before I go inside. I might even take his into the villa. Why not? Go in here. I've only got a week left in this villa over here. This is Lee and Regan's villa. It's pretty awesome. All right, Phil, thank you. When do you notice making excuses 
to not do ever what it takes. Or when you disappear, man. <laughs> that's that's a big one, man. And you'll use excuses. And I'm not saying putting excuses out to other people. I'm saying mainly using excuses with yourself. Telling yourself that little story. It's not quite right just to justify why you're not going to push on. Because as soon as you justify it, then you look for other people around. And this goes the other way too. This goes like if something hasn't worked out. This, is, this goes down another track, but I feel like I've got to talk about it. You go, something doesn't work for you because you don't apply yourself. Because you started using excuses. You started telling that story. I'm not going to walk under there. It's like dark. And you, you've gone through something and you might have been getting a little bit of a result. You might have pushed through that uncomfortableness. You might have used that nervous energy to push on. But you got to a point and then something happens. You, I'm not going to say a plateau, but it's not working how you would like it. Yeah, that's right, Phil. And what happens then? And I've spoken about this many times, but there's just so many examples lately, and like really big examples. I'm not going to name names or anything, but something's not working because they've got internal issues going on. They've got stuff in, they're working out, and they're, they're working it out their old, their old way, and it, it hasn't got them anywhere. It doesn't serve them. But they rely on that, and they go back to that. And what happens then? I say, Rob, you've got plenty of resistance. Yeah, it does, does stay plugged in, man. And like I say, Rob, I'm glad you're on here, man, because I know your situation right now. And this is, this is not pointed at you, but I know you can take a lot from this. Go with that energy, man. Go with them nerves. And you you know, procrastinate and hold on that pattern. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to procrastinate and hold on that pattern and you're going to stop. But back to it. Like I say, if you're in something, you've been doing something, you've been doing okay, you're getting a little bit of result. And you get somewhere and you might clash with someone else's opinion. You might clash with what they're doing and it mightn't be down your path. And you do that again. You get that resistance again, even though you, you've, you're following a process and you're actually getting somewhere. But you get that resistance again. What do you do? Then it comes up again. And so many people get to that point. Then they say, it's not for me. A lot of them just go, boom, that's it. And that's not, that's not an excuse. That's just bullshit. And then what happens is they go back. And this is this to go back to the world, wherever it is. They go back to their circle of friends that they moved, might have moved away from, their family. It doesn't matter what it is, and they might go back there. Then, they're not, instead of telling the story to themselves, they tell the story to other people. They put them excuses out there again, that, that E word, that crazy word. And then they justify it, and they make a big problem out of nothing. I, I just want to know you guys, is, does that serve you? Does that story ring true to you? Like... It's like a build-up of things. Sometimes you can push through that resistance and you can use that to go forward, but then you get that second time or that third time. Does that happen to you guys? Feedback here would be awesome. Got to swap arms. Dealing with like this shoulder thing I'd done the other day. A little bit frustrating, but you get, you get that. What you focus on, you're fine, so it's all better. Ooh, ads Mac. Anger, start trying. You've got to drop that trying word, bro. <laughs> One action you take to change it. The number one, t it depends what, why you're angry. Why are you recognizing that as anger? That's, that's probably what you've got to ask yourself. You're, you're calling that anger. You're focusing on that as anger. Maybe it's just frustration, man. Why are you frustrated? That's resistance right there. you just got to recognize. You've got to ask yourself the question at that time, does that, this feeling serve me? This feeling on now, if it's anger... Does it serve me? And for your case, ads, I know you personally, it doesn't, man. Absolutely doesn't. So I hope that answered your question there. We can talk about that in the track anyway, man, because you and I both know that's, that's something I dealt with for a long time. And um, my anger now is like it was a smile on my face. So it's not really anger, is it? What do we got, Philip? Brotherhood helps massively. I won't give up on myself again. And yeah, that's right. It's a brotherhood. It could be anything. It could be an environment, Phil. And it's not about giving up. You haven't given up, man. But you were. You were buying into your own little story. You were buying into your own excuses you were made because this was different. This was outside your comfort zone. This was this, was this new thing. This was this thing you know your partner and the people around you know you need. Because it's new, you felt like you're being pushed. So you use the excuse. You're like, you could be using that. You're like, no, not for me, not for me, or... This is too hard. I've got all this going on. I've got all this scatter. I've got all this stuff happening. Financial, job, family, all this. And it is. It's there, guys. It's there. You've got to recognize it. But it's, it's that point there that you've got to use that point there. That's your motivation. That's not your excuse. Excuses are easy, Grant. They are easy. And same as justifying them, telling you a story. 
You tell yourself a story when that, that excuse comes up. That's, that's the thing. And when I say tell yourself a story, it's like, oh, what's a good example? Like for me, uh, this is a really simple one. I do a lot of videos. I do a lot of posts. I put a lot of stuff out there uh, because I love adding massive value to you guys. But I was like, I was facing resistance because, because I've got a service, because I'm coaching people, because I'm mentoring people. I've got a lot of stuff going on where I need to get, well, I don't need, I love the people to come into my environment to work with me to help them with whatever they're going with in life. And I had this resistance. I actually didn't want to put this out there, but it's what I want to do. It's what I'm passionate about. So why would I not want to put it out there? I'll tell you why, because it's new. It's a lot bigger for me. I've had to change my mindset to deal with this. And instead of using that, that good energy, I was starting to use excuses like, oh, look, I don't, need to, I don't need to call people in. People are going to come to me. People are going to work with me anyway. I don't need to put it out there as much. So I started hiding away a little bit, only a little bit. You'll notice I'm back for now because this is what I did. I used that. I'm like, no, this is motivation because this is good. This is big. This is massive. This is exciting. This is what I want to do. This is how I want to change the world. Anyway, if you've got any more questions, I've got to rock and roll. I'm going to go to the gym. hope you took in that villa there. Villa Sorocco. What have we got here? Rob, come up with excuses, not reasons. Yeah, and that's it. And you've identified the, the difference between excuses and reasons. And I know this in your case, Rob, because... We've spoken many times on this, and you go around in circles. So it's usually the same thing we talk about. Thank you guys for jumping on. Andy Wall in the US. How are you, brother? Glad that you're on. You're probably going to have to watch a recording of this, man, unless you've got a really, really quick question. Hello, Tanel. No, it's been awesome this morning. Mick Toon. Far out. Some of the names popping up here are brilliant, and this is, this is what it's about for me, too. When I talk about me making a difference and making an impact, I, like, I put a lot of stuff out there and it's, it's so I can help you guys with stuff. But in turn, like I say, it's, it's only if you guys want to go somewhere in life. It's only if you guys do not want to just hold in that pattern. Some, some people can reach out. Some people can, can speak to me if it's anyone else who, who are making a difference, who want to help people, who want to guide people. But it's that last point where you're like, no, it's not for me. I want to stay in my pattern. I want to stay in my circle. This is not for me. Andy, yes, you can watch it later. I just went on a little rant again because this is so important to me. I find it all the time. What I want to see, or what I want to change in people's mindset is people committing at the last minute instead of turning around at the last minute and going, no, it's not for me. Because that decide and commit, once you make that decision, yes, is this for me, instead of going around in circles, and you commit. Do you know what that change was for you? That, that changes the way you go about every other decision you make because you're not one to pull out. You're not one. You want to move forward, and that's the people I want to work with. That wasn't even going to be the point of my live feed, but here it is. I'm coming up here with it in now. And I've put a lot of stuff out there lately of, of what I've got going on with, with the better way. This is a better way. Commit. Decide. Commit. Make that decision. Commit. Trust people around you. Trust people that have been down that path before. Trust people that have got a result in life. So I've got a result in life, but I continue to grow. I'm continuing to improving. And that's the people that I've got around me now. That's the people I'm working with and the people I want to work with. Ooh, I've got to slow down how I talk. I just got on a roll. But thank you, everyone. I am so grateful for you guys getting on the live feed this morning. I've rattled on for a while because I've got so much to put out there. So much love coming from Bali, where it's sunny today, which is amazing. I will talk to you next time. Any questions, inbox me. Um, like I say, I'm working with many people. If you want to work with me, if you want to jump on with me, inbox me and tell me why it would be a good working match. Because this is, this is what my gift to the world is, is improving people's lives. So thank you guys, and I'll see you later.